Well, all the women throughout the country are sleep agents. They're just waiting for, you know, to get the code word from her to, to like, awaken their programming. They're all just going to, like, <clears throat> like, what are they going to do? Because they're not violent, so they're not going to use violence, are they? What are they going to do? They're just going to march into Washington, but, you know, you're going to kill all men. We're going to be mad. Mad. We're not going to vote for you. It's like, okay, um, pretty sure you'd be, they'd be in power anyway. Like, I honestly just, I want to I wanna hear her talk about her plan. Like, I want to see what it is, because... You know, I, I will be fucking, I will be fucking dumbstruck when I hear it. Cause I bet, I bet it's gonna be the greatest thing ever. <laughs> like it's gonna be so fucking out of touch with reality. And it's gonna show her level of intelligence and leadership, right? Yeah, pretty much. Like everyone's gonna be, oh my gosh, you're right. You should be the overseer. You know what? I'm the president, but not anymore. You are now. And everyone throughout the country is gonna, you know what? She should be president. She's a woman. It's like. Oh, I have to die for her to be happy? Well, you know what? I'll just go kill myself just to appease you. Like, okay, so, yeah, what are the, the Gestapo are going to just, like, knock on your apartment door and be like, well, could you please, could you two come to us? We're going to have to exterminate you. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll go with you. Uh, 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 c could you not exist? Uh, yeah, for really, the good of the world. I mean, I know you were already alive, and, and, and you were alive before this woman, but, you know, she's not happy, so we're just going to kill her. But, like, do you think this, that, do you think, let's say that within the next 10 years, her, uh, you know, she becomes the overseer, <laughs> and, and she has her little fucking Gestapo running around, like, uh, you know, rounding up people. Does she think people are just gonna, like, men are just gonna, yeah, you know what, yeah, I'll, I'll go, and I'm just gonna sit and take it, and, and you can kill us all off, man. Like, what the fuck? And what does she, <laughs> god damn, I guess she thinks that, Every man is a feminized fucking piece of shit. Like, oh, okay, if a woman wants me to do this, well, I'm gonna do it. It's like, no, no, regardless of how bad it is, not everyone's a little fucking mindless, like, oh, women are perfect. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh. I'm pretty sure even these man giants and white knights would be like, whoa, hey, um, I just say that I signed right up for. Yeah, it's like, I have a right to live too, you know? I mean, maybe not. I could be wrong, but I'd like to think that even the manginas would be like, hey, you know, you can't just kill me because you think it's, you know, for for, you know, for for the peace of the world. You know what? Whenever I saw this today, uh, which is, um, you know, um, October 11th, and now, it just now, uh, just a minute ago, tur well, just now it turned... Uh, Skaxed over 12th. Yeah, October 12th, because it's midnight now. <clears throat> But when I saw it, uh, well, I saw this around 2 o'clock. I saw, saw this about 10 hours ago. And I saw this bitch's video. And I wanted to flag her so freaking bad. But then you thought about the consequences. And I'm thinking, because, and I voted it down. And, like, she has, like, over 1,500 dislikes and only, like, 84, 84 likes. Where's all her uh, supporters at? Should <laughs> they be liking her video? Well, it's only been up for like three or four days. And, um, so anyway, yeah, I think she put it up on October 9th. And, um, so anyway, I wanted to flag her so bad because people like Barbarossa get flagged and... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and they're nowhere near. Yeah, I know Barbarossa... I mean, you know, his solution to the problem, he talks about, you know, men should basically ignore women and, like, not be in relationships with them and all that. Basically take hey, maybe the pacifist way, you know, the pacifist way out, you know what hey, I'm saying? Maybe, maybe that's why she's mad. Maybe she's mad because maybe, uh, maybe she, there's some guy's dick she wanted and he's like, no, you know what, I don't need to poop out there. Maybe she's mad because she got ignored and decides that instead of doing the same in turn to get back, she'd rather just wipe out the men. Like, like, does that show you anything about female nature when they project too much? They call us neck beard losers and yeah, it's like as as bad as it gets in the men's rights movement is let's let's treat women equally and. You know, oh yeah, and, and let them be, you know, treat them just as badly as they treat us. Exactly. Let them be just as miserable as they make us and all that. And then women's, you know, like, whole... The, but I'm not saying all feminists are like that. I, I'm not saying I like all feminists either. I don't like any feminists. But that is even considered extreme by their standards. But, you know, their solution is, well, we need to kill them all because it's just not peaceful enough. 
Like, does that show you anything about inherent female tendencies? Oh, yeah. Like, that's their, you know, that, that is logic to her. Like, she, logically, that's what she comes to. Or it's the only logical long-term solution. And, you know, I, I wanted to flag her video so bad, and I wanted a bunch of people to flag it, but you know what? Now I don't. And I got to think, like, five minutes after I wanted to flag it, it's like, wait, if, if the video gets flagged and removed and banned from YouTube, then if I go around telling people that there's feminists like that, they won't believe me. I want this bitch's video to stay up on the web as long as possible, and now, I mean, I got it on a flash drive, and so I'm keeping a copy of it, and I gave it to you, and so now we have copies of it, and we can distribute it to people, or put it back up on YouTube at, at some time, or whatever, or play it whenever we want, but I hope this bitch's video and her channel stays up on there, and her website, I hope she continues to do her shit. So then, everybody can see how feminists really are, and how women, I mean, because, like, I mean, this woman, she's just being honest about what she believes, and what she wants to do, yeah. and most of them are not open and honest. I mean, even Anita Sarkeesian, that poop mouth bigot that does the um, Feminist Frequency Project, um, even she beats around the bush about all her man hatred. And she just beats the same dead horse of women or victims. And actually, actually, Anita Sarkeesian, aside from being a gynocentric, hate-mongering bigot, is actually one of the biggest sources. I mean, Anita Sarkeesian of uh, Feminist Frequency is one of the main people spewing real misogyny into the world. Because, okay, when she says that women are oppressed in every facet of their lives every day, that means that women are somehow incapable of rising above daily challenges. Yeah. And then another thing is, when she says that men manipulate women and all this other stuff, what she's really saying is that women are such stupid imbeciles that for some reason a man is able to outsmart her all day, every day. Pretty much. Now what she's trying to portray is that men are vicious and evil and therefore need to need to be opposed, but her method of doing that also degrades women. I mean, it's like she can't hate men without actually really hating women to begin with. And these gynocentric bigots, such as Anita Sarkeesian of Feminist Frequency, they just, oh my gosh, they are the most prominent misogynists in society. I mean, it... And that's not to even to mention their beak hate. Oh, they, they, they do hate the beak. I mean, they just, and they don't even know what the beak means. I mean, <laughs> like, oh my gosh. And if they think it means penis, then that shows exactly what's on their mind. Uh, because if we meant penis, we would have said penis. Okay? And this gets into what Barbarossa talks about, male beauty, and how women or feminists try to destroy it um, in his video about Sharon Osbourne and what uh, Catherine Kubecker had done. I forget the exact title of the video. And um, he talks about male beauty is actually the same thing that what Esther Villar describes in her book, The Manipulated Man, which is men's... Uh, vast intellectual capability and um, and men's uh, um, capability of abstract thought and uh, a real understanding of the world and universe around them. Um, and in a way, feminists are jealous of that. That's why they say, you know, they, they imply that men use their I don't know if you call it ingenuity or whatever to oppress women, um, but nonetheless, that is somewhat of a, an acknowledgement that men are. Well, it, it is an acknowledgement that men are 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 uh, intellectually and mentally superior to women because if they weren't, then they wouldn't be powerful enough to manipulate women. I mean, you see how their logic goes. 
And uh, so anyway, uh, but Esther Villar and Barbarossa also basically kind of describe that the only beauty that women understand is physical beauty, which if you know anything about the esoteric or wisdom traditions or anything, or just understanding anything about anything, physicality is the lowest interpretation of all. Uh, you know, what they call the profane, you know, it's like only what you can touch and see and feel and taste and smell, uh, which are the most basic and primitive means of interpreting information in the world around you. Um, you know, for example, you can't feel that heat coming out of that computer that you're using <coughs> over there unless you put your hand on a certain area, but yet a person, which you are, can invent a um, thermal imaging camera that can see the heat coming out of the computer from several feet away and not even you know touch it in order to, to, to detect the heat. You could actually see it. Uh, this is what men do. Um, men invented instruments to um, extend the, 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 the possibility to detect things. Uh, electromagnetic uh, waves or energies um, and just and Barbarossa I could tell just by listening to him that he that he's familiar with Esther Villar and that he's read her book, The Manipulated Man. Of course he mentions that he has, but still I can tell that he actually has because after reading at least part of her book, I read about a third of her book, what I read in there is, you know, and that, and that book predates Barbarossa's birth by several years. And, you know, I read Esther Villar's book and, um, which is titled The Manipulated Man, and then I recognize so much of what Barbarossa talks about. I mean, you can notice it in that book. They, these, you know, it's like he read her book and it really opened up his eyes and he's able to see how things are. Um, but I don't exactly know Barbarossa's background, um, but he definitely is intuitive and... Uh, <laughs> And he's really cool, and uh, and he and he's like a brother in arms, and he's got a really good attitude too. I mean, like the dude is like totally cool, and uh, <laughs> I'm glad he actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. It's like an honor <laughs> to have it, to have his, you know, for for him to subscribe to my channel. And um, so anyway, uh, let's see how much time we got left on this video because I want you to see another one. Uh, that'll inflame you pretty good. So yeah, come over and check it out with this other one. And I get this to go with? Yeah, you need to go pet some, which you need to go do. You do? Why aren't you going? Oh, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but the neighbors are over next door in the other apartment. They're really loud. They'll probably start listening to music and all that. And that music, if you happen to hear any music in the background, that is not me. That's nothing to do with my apartment. Uh, all you can really hear in here is the sound of Dylan clicking the mouse over there, doing whatever with a computer. And you can hear the sound of the fans in the computer. And that's really about it. I mean, there's no music or anything going on in this apartment. But if you hear anything else, you know, other than my voice or his voice, then it's coming from that apartment over there. And uh, uh, they're just, you know, they, you know, not exactly have parties, but like they just, all they do really is just they have friends over like every night, and then they just talk and listen to music, and that's like pretty much all they do. But I have to give that disclaimer that if there's any music or copyrighted material, uh, it's not me, it's not in my apartment, and therefore it's not within my control and I'm not trying to infringe I'm not trying to infringe on copyrights or anything like that at all. Um, so uh, anyway we got like uh, ten minutes or so left so uh, on this video so uh, so come back. Sure. Local
long. This one, this is, now, we had just watched the first video on her channel. Now, this is the second one, and there's only two of them on her channel. And how recent are these? Like, the last couple of days. She, she started up her channel like a week or so ago. Yeah, her channel, fucking, this shit pisses me, like... I don't want to fuck sit here and wait for the, you know, effect to go away so I can read what's said there. She picked a really shitty presentation. Well, because she's a dumb fuck. Um, but anyway, her her YouTube channel is dated from October 2012, which is this month. I mean, her her channel's only been around for like a week or two, and uh, so all this stuff's pretty new. Who's doing it? I don't know. Be the shimble of the overshare. It's like some fallout shit. <laughs> oh god. Hey guys, it's Barbie. Just kidding, though. No. You know who I am. Anyway, I'm here to make a response video to Mr. Daniel Salzbuck. I mean, Salzbuck to address these numerous. How mature! Yeah, exactly. But like, like, how how far she's, she's showing her disrespect and contempt for this guy, and we don't even know who he is. How much you? I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. So you can't even control your own speech. You don't know how to speak. I mean, you know, you know, she's a woman. You know, she's so mentally weak that she's manipulated at any at any given right. second. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah. In his reply video to the Femithius mission. Okay, so first of all, men commit the majority of all violent crimes. This is a proven fact. Oh Second, my God. they say that crime is primarily related to poverty, but this isn't the case for men because the majority of all impoverished people are women. So if oh my it's true fucking that crime God. Okay, is that why uh, the only homeless people you see on the streets are generally men? And, and veterans of wars who fight for our freedoms, the freedoms this fucking bitch takes for granted. Yeah, I've actually seen, uh, I, my, I myself have physically seen, in reality, I have seen, like, Vietnam vets on the side of the fucking goddamn, like, intersections. Like, I saw one up in Indy, I've seen them around here even by Walmart. Oh, and I, I used to work security in a neighboring city, uh, back in no, 2005. No, no, you're full of shit, cause only women are the fucking poor ones, okay? And out of the dozens of bums that I've ha been paid to run off of the property, only two were women. You know, it's funny. And more than a dozen were men. Wonder why all these women are poor, man. It's because they don't want to work for a living? Oh, and because men, the evil men, right, commit financial abuse That's by true. withholding money from women. Man. Yeah, what a fucking bitch. I, I like how she doesn't even show st statistics. Exactly, and that's good. That's good that she doesn't show statistics. You know why? Because they don't exist, for one thing. Well, two, it's easy to prove wrong. Like, you know why I say it's good? Mm. Because now, she's setting the standard that we can all adhere to. Now we are alleviated from the burden of proof of oh, statements we make. No, no, you, that's that's bullshit. It's not like, well, let's just be like them and, and make up. I'm not saying. Well, we they get away with it. I'm, that doesn't mean we do it. It's like that's like saying, oh well, that that bitch got away with cutting someone's dick off. But, you know, let's go do that too. No, you don't get to automatically do it. But what you can do is fucking. I think you could definitely poke fun at it. Like you know, be like. Well, my mind so sit out there and be like, be like, uh, anyone that says, well, you know, well, that's not true or statistics, but there aren't any. I'm being a bullshit, like, a bullshitter like this fucking kind. Well, you could be like that, but let's say if somebody's like, no, oh. it, it makes it even more legitimate. It's like when you see Stardust, a lot of his videos, he'll, uh, like that one about, um, he has the, it's like a thing and it's, uh, I think it's, it's suicide rates. Mm -hmm. He's got, like, a very clear, fucking concise, graph that shows results and it's fairly recent too like I think it's within the last five years somewhere there and it's like what does this bitch have? nothing yeah. and she just says it and you, you should believe her though I mean she's, she's she has a vagina she can't lie to you 
I mean, a woman's telling us. If it was a dude, you'd want to go, you know, do some research. Oh, and and, and women can't lie because they're not smart enough, remember? Because only <laughs> oh, men are right. smart enough you're to right. lie. Yeah, <clears throat> women are always getting gaslighted. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, primarily to poverty. And to the majority of all violent crimes. This is a proven fact. Second, they say that crime is primarily related to poverty, but this isn't the case for men because the majority of all impoverished people are women. So <laughs> then, why, then why do all the men co cause the crime, commit the crimes? Like, is she just saying that a bullshit statement? Fact. Second. No, what she's saying is what, no, what, no, what she's saying is what she's saying is that. They change the truth. She's saying that it's not true that most causes of crime are poverty related because since men commit most of the crimes, it's because they're violent and evil. Yeah, it, but uh, it's also it's saying that you know that crime, you know, the statement that crime is caused by you know poverty. It's no longer true because since men cause most of the, or commit most of the crime, and men have most of the money, she'll say. Yeah, therefore they can't. Here we go. And they say that crime is primarily related to poverty, but this isn't the case for men because the majority of all impoverished people are women. So if it were true that crime is related primarily to poverty, women would be committing the majority of all violent crimes, but they don't. Go figure. Thirdly, almost every violent war in history was the direct result of men and the patriarchy. Men have led people to battle for absolutely no reason and have caused millions of... Y'all like that man Margaret Thatcher, right? <laughs> oh, oh, that was Back the woman. Back in the 1980s, during my lifetime, yeah. Oh, the funny, the oxymoron actually, a violent war, like, it's so, it's, it's, it's war. a war! Yeah, it's war. fucking violent, yes! You don't have to say <laughs> all violent wars, because, uh, well, you could, the Cold War wasn't violent, well, yeah, there's still violence, it's just, it's, like, that's, what is she saying? Like, all wars are violent, I mean, even the, the Cold War wasn't necessarily a war, but it's still violent, because certain violent things happened. It just yeah, well, they call it a Cold War, just because it wasn't, like, an official declared yeah, war, I don't know. just... Uh, but you hear, you hear, you hear, you hear like certain that it's a cold war, or a hot war. It was a cold war, but that's not to say that it wasn't violent. And, and it's she's not saying, to say that there wasn't battle. Yeah, and she's saying that just you know all, all violent wars. It's just fucking. <laughs> I like I just said that the patriarchy, like exactly more conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a so uh now now I personally like some. Conspiracy theories, like I actually believe, because there's so much evidence to the contrary that's not even a conspiracy. Like for instance, JFK and 9/11. But it's like it's like so. Do do you fucking you know? Do you believe that? According you know, to her, 9/11 was a conspiracy. It was a conspiracy, according to her, of men to oppress women the most <laughs> and to show off who had the bigger penis. It's that, that's I mean, what she says on her website. But it, it is a conspiracy. It's just not that. It's not that conspiracy. Anyway, this this poop mouth bitch is going down. So majority of all violent crimes, but they don't. Go figure. Thirdly, almost every violent war in history was the direct result of men and the patriarchy. Fuck men have bitch. led people to battle for absolutely no reason and have caused millions of deaths because of their nature. Yeah, fucking oh bitch. My. And it was millions of men who oh died. So what do you fucking care? Exactly. Exactly. It's not like it's like, well, we're men. Let's go. Uh, let's go kill these women off today. But you know, her fucking her her uh, response. She oh, goes, she'll say that later. Where it's like, oh man, they they well, like Hillary Clinton. Yeah, women in the primary victims of the war, war supposedly. It's like her, what her her fucking response says. Well, what about all the women and children and collateral damage and rape that occurred? It's like you know, it's like yeah, but you, not saying that's right. But at the fucking same time, who do you really think died more? Like everybody, out of, out of everyone. Let's let's just let's say let's take Vietnam because you you hear about the rapes and stuff that happened there a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's just take Vietnam. Okay, um, who do you think fucking died more, men or women? Like seriously. Yes, women, men, women, men, children, everyone died. You know, you know, they would massacre villages. Everybody like, suffered during. Everybody war. fucking suffers during war, but men suffer primarily. 
And they saw for first years, because who know? fights in a fucking war? Like back in the six, like back in Vietnam, there weren't women in the fucking military on, on our side. There might have been there, were, you know, MVA or Viet Cong women most likely. I know they, they don't. There was all kind of crazy shit going on then, uh-huh. but it's not like. You know, it's not like we had whole battalions and brigades yeah. and divisions of women troops who went into combat killing the enemy. Exactly, and uh, because we won't hey, let them have that honor because we're evil right. men. Man. And who would um uh who would uh goddamn what's I gonna say? Well, basically, who who got drafted and had to go fight the fucking war? Didn't want to go fight the war, but got drafted. Women didn't get fucking drafted. It was men. So you know, only men. And women still don't get. They don't even have to sign up for fucking selective service. Let alone they can't. They can't be drafted. They don't even have to sign up for selective service to be drafted. And they can't even be. And and, and they can't even be they obligated can't. to go into exactly. combat. Exactly. They can't. They well, well, according to you know lioness, which we gotta analyze that. But according to that, you know, like they can be made to fight. But it's like <laughs> legally, they're not so fucking supposed to. Yeah, they're not legally obligated. They really want the honor to be able to. Alright, yeah. I gotta start a new one.